What are the Islamic benefits of cupping? And what are the days when it is recommended and prohibited to do cupping? Cupping is part of the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. He recommended it and he told us in an authentic hadith that if cure was in anything, it is in one of three. Either a taste of honey or a slash of a cupper, person who's doing the cupping, or by cuterization. What is cupping? There is a difference between the dry cupping and the wet cupping. The dry one without the suction of blood, but rather it doesn't come out, it's there. And the wet one is when they slice it a little bit and there is blood that comes out. So when I got to the UK and I decided I'm going to go for it and I went for it and it was so beneficial and so good. And you know, there are little cuts which heal very, very quickly, but all the bad blood is sucked out. It's a sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Now cupping is part of the sunnah, especially for healing and curing. But is it permissible to do all the times or there are certain times? It's an issue of dispute among scholars. The vast majority of scholars say that according to medical reports, cupping on the 17th, 19th or the 21st of the lunar month is more beneficial than any other days of the month. And Ibn al-Qayyim spoke about the benefits of it after having the full moon, etc. These are things that medical doctors support. And there are hadith, though weak, yet the Salaf used to implement them. Now, Imam Malik says nothing is authentic in regards to the dates to make or not to make cupping. And he says, there isn't any day that I have not made cupping in. So Imam Malik says, it's all open. If you have a medical reason for cupping, there is no problem at all among scholars to do it any time of the day or any time of the night, any day of the week, any day of the month. There's no problem in that, none whatsoever. And you feel so good, it helps you, your health, your pain, everything else, you know. People say, how do you manage? I don't manage, but subhanAllah, it's the help of Allah. And I think hijama actually really does help by the will of Allah. So I thought there might be a lot of people who don't know so much about it or who might have heard about it, but don't realize how important it is. And the fact that it is a sunnah, you get a reward for it. Cupping is extracting blood from the body from certain areas, generally speaking, at the back of the head and neck. These are the areas most likely that cuppers use to suck the blood out. Before, in the beginning, they used to use a razor, cut slashes and place a mug or a special device and then suck the blood out. The nature of the blood is different than the normal blood you get from a wound or from an artery. And this blood is usually dark, very, very thick, and people are relieved afterwards. It is beneficial for those who have migraines, high blood, uh, blood uh, uh, pressure, it's good for the eyesight, so many benefits of it, not only in Islam, even in nations before Islam, it was known.